Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another episode of 10 AM Tea with Natalie. I hope that your week is off to a great start so far. Um, I'm checking in now to talk to you guys about exercise. And there's a whole lot of information to cover. So I think this is going to be something that we're going to go on kind of over multiple weeks. And springtime is, um, in Chinese medicine theory, kind of like the best time to begin an exercise routine. So the energy of the season is really kind of bubbling up from the ground. It's kind of like get up and go. Um, you know, one day there's nothing above the ground. The next day you see, you know, little leaves popping up. And then from there, the plant's already blooming. It's kind of a very um, energetic moving time of year. So it's a wonderful time to actually be moving your body. And there's a lot of different benefits to exercise. So I think um, we'll start by talking kind of in general about why you would want to be exercising. Then we'll get into exactly what does, um, what, how do you define exercise? What are the different kinds of exercises that you can do? And then we'll get into the kind of pros and cons and uh, the hows and whys of the different types of exercise that are available, different ways to maximize your results and maxi maximize your benefits. Um, and then we'll kind of wrap things up with a little bit of like uh, probably some goal talk and stuff like that. So that'll be what's coming up probably for um, the end of March here in the beginning of April. Uh, so first and foremost, exercise is known to benefit the mood. Just kind of getting things circulating helps to kind of knock the cobwebs out of your head, knocks the brain fog out of um, out your brain. Um, it decreases anxiety and stress. It produces endorphins, which make us feel a sense of well-being. And it doesn't matter the intensity or the exercise that you're doing in regards to benefiting mood. So this could be a quick walk. This could be lifting weights. This could be going for a swim. It's kind of whatever you want to do. It's going to help your mood there. Um, it benefits your heart and breathing and metabolism. So this is a way to prevent heart disease. This is a way to prevent diabetes. This is a way to prevent obesity and the complications therein. Um, so inactivity is really bad for the body. So that's going to be, you know, by being active, that's something that's beneficial. Um, you're strengthening the muscles and the bones. So um, muscles are important for metabolism and keeping your calorie burn really high. Muscles are kind of a high maintenance tissue. So um, they increase your metabolism. The more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism will be. Um, it's also really important to remember if you're working on muscle strength that you need to be taking in enough protein. And we're going to be talking about that a little bit too as far as what your um, dietary needs look like with different exercises. Um, it's also going to be really critical for your anti-aging benefits, the prevention of osteoporosis, the strengthening the muscles and bones there, and benefiting bone density. Um, it's also really important to know that if you're feeling low energy and fatigue, exercise is the treatment for that. I have a lot of patients who end up a little bit confused thinking that because they're tired, that means that they should be you know, not exercising, and that really is not the case. Um, studies show that when you're feeling really fatigued, it's because your body isn't running very efficiently and exercise helps to make your body run better. And so that will actually decrease fatigue. So the more, you know, you have going on, the busier your days are, the more you need to be making sure that you have a solid exercise routine so your body can actually keep up with the demands of your schedule there. Um, so there's no such thing as being too tired to exercise, you guys. That's not an excuse. It's then figuring out what exercise is best um, for the, the goals that you're trying to reach. Um, it's also important that we notice um, and pay attention to the fact that exercise also benefits pain with uh, diseases and benefits healing. And this can be for things that are short term and long term. Okay, so cancer, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, these are conditions that usually um, the pain is benefited by exercise there. So that's something to definitely keep in the back of your mind if you or someone that you love is going through something like that. Um, it lowers the risk of heart attack and blood vessel plaques. Um, and heart disease, it's benefiting your blood sugar, benefiting the fats in your blood, lowering your cholesterol, lowering those triglycerides there for you, um, keeping you in a better condition overall, lowering that inflammation. Very important. It also promotes healthy skin. Exercise indu induces your body to produce more antioxidants, which is good for um, anti-aging the entire system. But um, when we're increasing blood circulation, one of these places that we notice this increase in blood circulation is the face. So you're turning bright red. <laughs> one of the benefits of this is that you're also getting lots of oxygen and nutrition to the skin. So it's actually going to benefit your appearance, making your skin look more luminous and more bright overall. Um, and the more that you increase your circulation in the skin, the better your overall health and condition of the skin will be. 
Um, just like we talked about with the bentonite clay masks and they make your, you know, the tension actually increases blood circulation to the face, which is why they help your body absorb more nutrients. So we'll be checking in again tomorrow to talk a little bit more about the benefits of exercise and why you'd want to. And then we'll finish up the week with kind of explaining what exactly exercise looks like. So I hope that you have an awesome day. Make sure you check back in tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern for another fantastic Facebook Live show with yours truly. Uh, have a glass of water. Um, if you would like to uh, comment below, please do. Even after the post live, I'm happy to check in with any questions, comments, concerns you have. Um, and definitely tag and share this if you think it would help someone else. So have an awesome day. Drink a glass of water. And we'll see you again tomorrow. 10 a.m. Tea with Natalie every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Take care. We'll see you soon.